have got to put time on your calendar for yourself. That is critically important. So you have to treat your mental health like an appointment, like its own appointment. If you're a checklist person, it's gotta be its own part of the checklist. So for me, um, I started working out with a personal trainer just about almost exactly 10 years ago, four days a week, standing appointment on my calendar, only moved if I had to travel or something came up and you know, that happens, but it stayed on my calendar. I did it very early in the morning. I still have the same personal trainer. Um, interestingly, I've been using Zoom with him um, long before the pandemic hit. I just didn't invest in Zoom. What was I thinking? But, um, but, but yeah, you got to do something that gives you joy. You got to find something that you're going to consistently not be interrupted by, by anybody, husband, kids, spouse, partner, whatever, uh, to give yourself an opportunity to refresh, to reinvigorate. Um, there's no, you're not going to be any good to Edelman or yourself or your family if you're tired and stressed out, if you're like, oh my God, if everything is, oh my God, you got to find that way to plug in, to recharge, to re, uh, reinvigorate yourself and be, and be comfortable in that. Don't feel like something's wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. And particularly because the question comes up now, we've been in a freaking global pandemic for almost a year. We're all yeah. like, oh my God, you know, we've had, you know, I'll share this. We, um, I'm in New Orleans and, you know, New Orleans post Mardi Gras last year was a real hot spot. It was the, the second big hot spot in the U.S. after um, Seattle. There was a period of time in late March, early April that for seven days in a row, I knew someone who died personally. Oh. Seven days in a row. That's heavy stuff. That's heavy. So, so be, be, be easy on yourself and do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself.